I'm going to give you some help on number 16 on chapter 9. Uh, it's the um, array 1 and 2. So first thing we want to do is set our limits. And set our first limit as 0, 0. And the next one as 10, 10. This will be easy stuff. All right. So we want to do a circle. Um, and then we can start it at just 4, 4. And we want the, the book tells us that the diameter is 6, so that means our radius is 3. Sorry about that. My phone's going off, huh? All right, so we got something that looks like that. And then let's add another circle in the center there. And that diameter is 1.5, so that means our radius is 0.75. All right. And now let's take that, take a line from the center. And if you can't get your center point, we want to hit this, make sure our center's on. center was at 4, four or four, 4 we want to go over 2 and create another circle at that endpoint and the diameter to that is 0.5 so we want the radius to be 0.25 and then I simply want to delete that line. All right, so the first thing I asked you to do there is, so that's easy, you probably have that already done. Um, save this as array. Now I'm gonna make sure I put it in my CAD folder. All right, the next thing we wanna do is do a polar array so we'll hit this down arrow and do a polar array select our object hit enter select our center point type it in and we want twelve of them so we want twelve items three hundred and sixty degrees around close the array go to save as and we want to call this Array 1. So now you're done with assignment 2, or I guess that's 16A. Alright, so the next directions ask us to open up the first array we did. <clears throat> and now we're going to do another array. And it's only going to go like halfway around the bottom. So we want to select the object we want to array. We want to pick our center point, and so like that'd be right there. I'm gonna just type four or four because it's quicker for me. And then you can see we've got if my video card ever catches up. We've got six going around. I want seven of them. And I want them going halfway around. So I'm gonna change this to 180. This will kind of fill in to 30. There they are. And I want to change the direction of them. So you can do that by clicking this. And now they should be on the bottom. There they are. 
close your array, save it, go to save as and change this to array number two. There, all done with number 16. That was easy. Good job.